Hello, this is going to be a tutorial on how to solve a 4x4 super cube. Now, there's a few things you need to know before you watch this tutorial. The first thing is you need to know how to solve a regular 4x4. Um, the second thing is that if you have a super cube that has the arrows on it pointing every which direction, or maybe you're doing this on a Gabasoft simulator or something like that, really it's a good idea to have this um, sticker. Uh, thing where the uh, colors are painted on rather than arrows pointing in random directions because that one is very difficult to um, distinguish however it will work for this tutorial this works for every single uh, super cube whether it's a shepherd's cube or this type of cube or the weird arrows super cube that you see on the Gabasoft simulators anyway so let's get right to it um, so the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna solve all the centers and the centers on a super cube aren't just normal centers. You can't just pair up random um, colors and have it completed. Now you see here, um, all the white is solved, but the secondary colors are not. So that's really important. So when you're pairing um, pieces, like for example, I'm going to match up this blue with this blue. It's very important that you match up the secondary pieces like so. Okay. So example, the green's matched up right there. And so this is actually what a correct center looks like. Now, you should be able to, if you know how to solve a 4x4, four four, you should be able to solve um, four of the centers, possibly five of the centers. So go ahead and do that real quick, and we'll pick up after that. Okay, so at this point I have one, two, three, four centers solved. I also have... Um, these two bars lined up so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and solve this purple right here and you'll notice that I solved the purple side but I have this situation where these two um, are flipped now this is going to happen almost all the time I believe it happens five sixths of the time so that's a really high percentage so you need to know how to solve this case because most likely it's gonna happen to you now what you're gonna do is you're gonna use a commentator now from the regular Rubik's Cube, um, if you remember the beginner's method where you have this commentator, it looks something like this. It's basically um, the corner shuffle. It shuffles the corners around when you're doing the layer by layer method to um, permute the corners. Anyway, we're going to use th that same algorithm on um, the 4x4 Super Cube here. Now what you need to know is it's kind of a cycle. So what's going to happen is, is this piece right here on the front face is going to come over here. This piece is going to come up here. And this piece is going to go right there. So really, only focus on one of the pieces for now. The other one will solve itself if you do everything correctly. So what we need to do is before we can get this white piece, let's do this white and red. It needs to go there. But first we need to get it into the bottom layer. So let's do that commentator. And again, I'll put the algorithm in the side, but it's really simple. You just bring up the right face, over, bring up the left face, over, right face down, over, and the left face down. It's a really um, common algorithm. It shouldn't be that difficult, but if you need it, again, it is in the sidebar. So now we have it down here. So where does it need to go? Well, it needs to go right here. So let's align it. And again, what's going to happen is this is going to go up here because it's red and it needs to go here, red. So that's good. This piece is going to come down. So let's go ahead and do that again. So we're going to move it up. Okay. So now all we have to do is do it again. Now you ha you'll have to do this a number of times. Now, um... This is the third time I'm doing it and it will solve itself because look, this piece, it's green and white, it's going to go here. This piece is going to come down, replace it, and that piece is going to go up. So again, only really concentrate on one color. In this case, I was concentrating on the green. If you try to do both of them, you'll get messed up. So really just focus on getting one of the um, sides solved, preferably the one that's not solved. Um, and again, doing this this last time will solve that weird case. So there you go. So that one's solved and the rest of them are solved. 
So um, let's actually, let's go over that one more time. So again, we have the situation where these two are flipped. Now the first thing we're gonna do is get this top one down here. So we're gonna do the move and it's gonna cycle it around and put it into the front face like so. Now, where, do, where does it need to go? It needs to go up here. So we're just gonna rotate it over so that it goes up and goes to this spot because remember, yellow and yellow. So do it again. And that was the second time. Now we're gonna do it the third time. And what we're gonna do is we're going to put this one where it belongs. So always put this piece in this spot over here like that. Rotate it up and this one's gonna go up and match the red. And the other purple side is gonna solve itself. Just like that. Okay, so now that we know how to do the centers, um, if you got pretty close to solving the super key before, really, um, the rest of it is just like a normal 4x4, so you should be pretty good from this point. But if you want to keep watching the video, I will go over some important tips that you may or may not know. So let's go ahead and go to the next step, which is getting the edges together. Now when you get the edges together, um, it's the same way as doing it on a regular 4x4. So you really shouldn't have that big of a problem. So go ahead and get all the edges together, just like you would on a normal 4x4 cube, and then we'll pick up from there. Okay, so you should have all of your edges paired up and ready to go. So the next step in solving it like a regular 4x4 is to get the cross on the bottom. Now, when you're doing the cross, it's not enough just to get the cross like you normally would. Remember, you have to make sure that these secondary colors are matched up. So you can see that the blue and the red are not matched up. So really, it should look like this. And even though they can be in alignment with each other, like here, there occasionally it can not be aligned there so just because that these match up doesn't mean that this one does so make sure that you match up all of the colors not just some of them with that being said you'll notice this piece right here the purples matched up but these white pieces aren't matched up so to match up the white pieces with each other or whatever base color that you choose is once you have it in the right spot rotate it to the top move it out of the way and then take the base color and make sure it's pointing upwards. Then you can realign them and they'll be paired up and just move it back down. Let's do it again. So the blue and the, the white white here need to be aligned. Let's move it up and out of the way. Make sure the base color is facing upwards like so. Align it and then put it back down. Now in this case, it's off to the side, but it's again, it's the same thing. You just move it up and out of the way Make sure it's pointing upwards and move it down. Just like that. So at this point, go ahead and um, continue solving it just like you normally would. If you did this step correctly, all of your centers should be oriented correctly. And the way you can do that is just to look real quick and make sure all of the white is pointing downwards. And so I'm looking around, okay, it's all good, and make sure that this is correct. So red, blue, purple, green. Okay, so I know that all of my centers are now oriented correctly, except for this top one, but again, that's the last step. So go ahead and continue solving it um, just like you normally would. Okay, so you should have the entire super cube pretty much solved now. Um, there are a few cases that you can get at the end with um, the top orientation. Um, now, if you do this with a layer by layer method, it's not a good idea to solve the super cube with a layer by layer method. It's way too complicated to orient this last center um, properly and a lot of times it just doesn't work. Um, so if you're solving layer by layer method, um, you're probably going to have problems. But if you're solving any kind of Fergus method or for look uh, last layer type method um, that's good and therefore you'll be set up to do this next couple of moves okay so the first um, problem is where it's rotated 180 so you can see the green needs to go there and the blue needs to go there those need to be switched everything else is solved okay so easy fix a really easy algorithm it's r u r prime u r u r prime u and you just keep doing that until you restore it to the original position and you can see that it is solved the second case that you can get is where two of the centers are flipped by 90 degrees. So as you can see, this green one needs to come down this way, and this yellow one needs to go upwards. Now remember that. 
So put one on the left and one on the up face and look on the left and see, okay, this yellow needs to go upwards. Now remember that. So here's the algorithm. It's M E M prime. And remember this needed to go upwards. So let's point it upwards and then do the reverse M E prime M prime and then flip that back. And you'll see that that one is now pointing upwards and this one's correctly oriented. So that's how to solve a 4x4 super cube. I hope you liked the video. If you have any questions, post a comment below. Um, I'm going to be making a 5x5 super cube tutorial. So if you want to uh, check that out, it would be a good idea to subscribe to my channel so you know when that comes out. Hopefully, it'll be soon. Um, if you like this video and want to see more videos like it, check out my channel. I have a bunch of cubing videos, so I'm sure you'll find something you like. And again, if you have a question, feel free to post a comment below. Thanks for watching. Please rate and subscribe.